They're trying to give you Granny Smith, all right? But not with the Granny scent. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Zing RX, and today we're gonna get into my beloved perfume collection, okay? I am the type of girl that absolutely loves, loves, loves all things that smell good. We're talking about perfumes, candles, air fresheners, car scents, oils. I mean, you name it, I love it, okay? If it smells good, that's what I wanna smell. I need it all throughout my house. I need it all over me. Like, I'm just that girl that I need to have something sprayed on me before I leave the house. And if you are that type of girl, obviously you are, you came to the right place. And as you guys can see right here, I'm going to definitely be telling you guys about all the perfumes that's in my perfume organizer there. And just giving you guys like the ones that are expensive, the ones that are very, very affordable that I love. I don't have like a, a preference as far as like price range. Like I'm not like, super 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 like just luxury fragrance and that's it no a lot of affordable fragrances really do have longevity which is basically known as silage in the fragrance world yeah that's what i'm going to be talking about the different components the top notes the base notes and also like how the silage is but a lot of my perfumes are like about 70 dollars on up to 400 dollars range and we're going to get into that right now all right, y'all, so for the first fragrance, I have here my beloved Angel Mugler. This one right here, um, it definitely gives me more of like a warm vanilla patchouli type of vibe. Um, definitely giving expensive, okay? If you spray this on, I would say like more so fall, winter time, this fragrance works really, really well um, with my body chemistry. Um, I haven't sprayed too much of this, but I definitely, I found myself grabbing for this for like like date nights or just you know when you're going out somewhere and it's just super super cold and outside of course you know you gotta you gotta put your fur on and everything like that angel mueller is that girl okay she just gives me um grown woman vibes not granny vibes but grown woman and i just you know mueller is a a fashion house that really excels in their fragrances to me because i actually have another one that i'm going to show you guys but this is definitely one of my top 10. get into this small beauty here this is definitely one of my top fives now she is angel nova mugler she came out in 2020 and she really just gives me like rose so i feel like it's like a sweet then a rose then like a vanilla vibe with this one um definitely my type of scent i am a very very like sweet type of girl and she just she just gives me everything that i just i love like this is definitely a go-to fragrance for me from time to time um but i just have my staples my favorites but she's definitely one of them for the win definitely i love her so this next perfume was also um coincidentally a perfume or fragrance that was debuted in 2020 so she is definitely new and if i'm saying she y'all i'm just saying like <laughs> these my friends okay these are definitely my, the girls all right but um this is voce viva by valentino and she is giving me super warm but also sweet no nothing spicy okay she's not giving like buffalo wing over here the main accords is citrus white floral and vanilla and that's definitely what she she gives me definitely vanilla as the base for this perfume she is definitely giving me you know i'm about to get out get up get dressed i want to smell nice i'm about to go get my starbucks my breakfast you know about to be glamorous you know what i'm saying she's giving me devil wears prada when i spray this on definitely someone who knows herself okay she knows what's going on all right this is um my best friend bought me this and i absolutely adored this fragrance definitely my go-to for effect 
you all might know this one okay this is another valentino perfume that i absolutely adore this is valentino born in roma and honey this girl here she'll give all the other girls a run for her money oh it's giving me woody vanilla and fruity when i spray her on i just feel like i don't know i just feel so exhilarated like she just gives like the perfect girl scent you know what i mean just the perfect sweet but not overpowering i feel like the sillage or longevity on this is pretty good i noticed that i still kind of like have it linger on probably after about three hours which is you know pretty decent the sillage of most perfumes should be like a little bit longer i think like four or five or something like that the angel muglers definitely have good longevity for sure so if you want something that like lasts really long you really don't need that much the angels are definitely a good perfume to choose a lot of times i get compliments for wearing my valentino or when i'm wearing my valentino born in roma and i always take note of that so she's definitely in my arsenal i get compliments from both men and women alike honestly i'm sorry but women compliments just mean more to me especially when it comes to style fashion or what i'm wearing or my makeup because us women we know we know the standards right so <laughs> but when i get compliments from men i definitely take that into note as well especially for date nights this one is definitely a fan fave for sure she's super popular the next family or fashion house that we're gonna get into is YSL. The very first one that I'm gonna show you guys is the YSL Libre. I think that's how you say it. Libra? Or you know, I heard some things about them Libras, chat. I think it's called Le Bear or something like that. I don't know, y'all. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't make fun of me, okay? I absolutely um really like this. This is giving grown and sexy right here. And the notes that I smell in this is definitely white floral and citrus for sure. And I am a very fruity floral type of girl. So when I find something that is floral, it has to be cut a little bit with citrus. So like super super like rosy scents with nothing sweet to kind of cut that like flowery overpowering smell i don't like those type of scents it smells like granny to me and i'm just not a fan of those but ysl libre is definitely one of my faves now she's new to me um and i've had her for at least a month and i've probably used her about a good five times not a month i'll say probably like two months but like yeah i probably used her about five or six times so she's definitely a go-to girl for me and definitely grown in sexy vibes just look at this bottle it's like everything so cute another one from ysl is uh one of my other favorites ysl black opium she is a beauty as well i'm like obsessed with this she's giving me warm vanilla some coffee and sweet for sure so sweet vanilla coffee like she's deep she's mysterious but she's still sweet right she's not overwhelming nighttime vibes you know you want to put your lingerie on for your guy you want to you know what i'm saying just feel like ooh sexy she's a good one to go the next one of ysl you guys are probably tired of this one but she's almost gone honey this is like number one for me top tier always like a fan favorite maybe i'll grow out of her in like a year or two i'm not really sure but baby you see how empty this bottle is it's it's almost empty this is ysl mon Paris. this one right here is just everything that i love that i absolutely would want in a perfume i i I kid you not like I love all of my perfumes but it's just something about her that just keeps me coming back um so this bottle yes is almost almost finished almost finished but she gives fruity she gives sweet she gives floral all the things all of the necessary scents that I need in a fragrance she exudes and she executes it perfectly this is perfect every day every night wear she is just really a, a really well-rounded perfume the next one that i'm going to be talking about has been a cult classic for a while now it came out in 2005 you might have heard it in a couple of songs i would have to say this is probably like one of my favorite second favorite perfumes thus far and that is flower bomb by victor and rolf okay 
Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph. This one here, she gives me patchouli. She gives me sweet and warm and very inviting. Also still not overpowering. And this has been a fan favorite for a lot of fragrance lovers for a long time just because I think of the balance in here. It's not overly sweet. It gives you just enough sweetness but also enough floral too to kind of like simmer down a little bit. You know, not over, you know, just round. You know, she kind of like a little kitten, you know, as far as the fragrance world is concerned, okay? I've been using her quite often. This one next, I am definitely scooting her up into my top five. She is a new purchase for me. This is also by Victor and Rolf. This one is Bon Bon. Now, she came out in uh, 2014 and she gives me caramel or caramel or whatever you want to call it, but caramel slightly woody but also sweet citrusy uh not citrusy but yeah citrusy so she gives me citrus sweet and caramel the bottom notes i feel like she lingers down on my skin as well into like a musky type of scent and i like those it's not something i say oh this is strictly for nighttime no this is giving prada candy more refined than prada on steroids would be probably but victor Ralph bonbon is a girl's girl fragrance the next perfume that i definitely love in the winter time for sure so funny um an uncanny resemblance to prada candy also and this is azaro wanted okay so cute you see this here this is like the spray thing like how like a gun would be you hold a gun and it's like Basically, this is the design. It says Azaro at the top there. And nice golden amber color. And she smells absolutely amazing. Caramel, you know, sweet tone or the warmth at the end is definitely giving amber and some musk. And I really, really like this. She gives me the girl that sneaks out at night to go see <laughs> <laughs> to go meet her secret lover or something like a Zaro um, wanted perfume is is definitely one of my favorites as well she's definitely a keeper don't judge me I got a little you know dust on here but it's okay you know who dust off their perfume bottles all the time not me shoot so the next perfume that is my absolute one of my absolute favorites more of a fresh vibe giving like citrus and green apple but also to top it off a little sweetness too my burberry blush okay my burberry blush and as you can see i'm almost out i need to order another bottle but this is this right here just a fresh vibe green fresh apple vibe if you're looking for something that's not overly sweet overly vanilla overly caramel just overly sweet at all but she still gives you that feminine essence but a fresher feminine essence right this is that girl okay my Burberry blush I wear this to a lot of interviews um, I've definitely worn this on dates before. This works really well in the summertime and the wintertime, both alike. She's one of my favorites, as you can see. She's almost gone, and I've had her for, I'll say, like a couple of years now. But, um, you know, I try to rotate all of my perfumes, so I just don't use one. But she's definitely the only one that's, like, down this low because I reach for her quite often. The next fragrance that I um, definitely adore, she is in my top five. Have I said, like, five already in my top five i just love so many of my fragrances like but this one here is by dolce and gabbana dolce and gabbana okay and this is dolce and gabbana garden and uh i love her so much like as you can see she's she's almost halfway gone but she is definitely one of my go-tos that I reach for as well. And she is a very floral, fruity, gourmand fragrance. Um, she also gives me coconut, floral, vanilla. There's a common occurrence there, right? We love us some vanilla in there somewhere. 
but she is flirty i'm gonna say flirty this is a flirty very flirty scent she just fits the bill for every occasion i love her she is definitely one of my go-to the next one that i'm gonna get into is another floral fruity i don't know if you guys noticed but i have actually two different types of fragrance types and that is floral fruities and the fresh crisp type scents this bad girl right here honey this is C passion so she is a floral fruity fragrance for a fact she's giving fruity she's giving sweet and a, and a slight woodiness to her and the tone down she's powdery so I like that about her because it's like she has a lot of depth different you know dynamics to this fragrance so I really really enjoy this this is definitely a go-to for any type of of date or any type of special occasion see passion definitely fits the bill as well also another favorite of mine this is daisy love by mark jacobs i don't know if you guys can see that can you tell she is giving fresh fruity with a musk base at the end as well mark jacobs knows what to do with the fragrances he has so many and i definitely have a couple of his including this one i definitely reach for her quite often as well she's definitely in my top 10 i'm gonna stop saying top five i feel like everybody's top five but she is giving sweet but not innocent sweet but not innocent <laughs> We have another Marc Jacobs. We have the perfect Marc Jacobs Intense. The first note that hit me that was described in the description of this perfume was almonds. If you like the almond or like a roasted type of almond scent, but not like super nutty, but like a mild almond aroma that is followed by burnt sugar and fruity and, and floral all at the same time. This is what this represents to me here. So this is also a newer purchase for me. I definitely grab this when I need something more warm. She's also, you know, she, she might have the other ones might have a little competition when it comes to this one here. The next one that I'm going to be talking about is the classic fashion house of Chanel. So this is my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Toilette. So it's not a perfume, but it's a toilette. This is one of my more unique standing out of the crowd perfumes. This one here, I tend to grab for her sometimes because I want a change. So this is more so like a woody citrus scent. I feel like this is for any age, any season, any time of day. She's giving longevity for sure. She's almost there with the angel perfumes that I have. And this is just a toilette. So I don't even know how the perfume is, but it's probably even better than this as far as sillage goes. But the notes for Coco Mademoiselle, honey, grown woman, for sure. You can wear this anytime. It's giving sexy and classy. This is a classic fragrance. They came out with this 2001. Also a cult favorite since the beginning that it debuted. Coco Mademoiselle, honey, you cannot go wrong with her. This next fragrance, I'm so mad I didn't get the bigger bottle but i i don't know i tweaked and thought that i did but i had a bigger one ran out of that one ordered this size this little puny thing here this is the home girl okay chloe she came out in 2008 and your girl whenever i got a hold of her first of all Nicki minaj i had read an interview or saw an interview with her and she said one of her favorite perfumes was uh chloe so I always, you know, just thought in my head, like, okay, Nicki Minaj likes it, you know, it must be decent, right? So I walk into Sephora, you know, I'm asking, like, where's, where's your girl Chloe at? Like, where's she at? Like, what's what's up with this girl Chloe? You feel me? And they were like, oh, she's right over here. So I see this cute little, you know, a bigger bottle than this. I believe this one that I have is like the 1.7 ounce and the other one they have was like a three ounce. But I saw the three ounce. I'm like, okay, this looks pretty plain. Like, look like a grandma bottle. You know what I'm saying? A grandma bottle, you know. Might smell like somebody's grandma. And I mean, no offense. 
no offense but you know what I mean when I say granny smell and I'm not saying granny stink it's just not my scent okay I sprayed this and I fell in love fresh fruity floral that's what it's giving it's giving spring it's giving summer it's giving you want to smell like you just stepped out the shower but with some perfume on if you get what i'm saying you know she just she gives that honey i love this i also get plenty compliments when i wear this too this next baby is definitely another part of the fresh family and a spring and summer go to okay this is a classic this is iconic all right we're gonna talk about the donna karen be delicious donna karen be delicious donna karen be delicious be delicious be be delicious what be delicious be be delicious what that's exactly the mood that this puts me in when I spray this okay so this gives me you know picnic picnic with the girls you know you want to wear something light you know for brunch you know we're all outside in Grant Park in Chicago and we're just sitting down on the grass on our blankets and it's a nicely woven basket full of fruits and sandwiches okay this is giving that for sure she is um ozonic she's giving citrus she's giving green apple um she's giving aquatic okay all of those words i'm trying to i'm trying to paint a picture because this is just this is just everything everything to me i love 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 and look at this bottle it looks like a little apple like and the color of the bottle and everything they're trying to give you granny smith all right but not with the granny scent okay the next perfume that i'm going to get into is one of two okay of my most expensive fragrances that i own these are my bond number nines okay so the first one we're gonna get into the bond number nine green witch village okay green witch village and one of the things that i absolutely adore about bond number nine is that you know their dedication to new york city is by far top tier okay all of their bottles and their names of their bottles it just seems like you know just has some type of just like some type of old to new york and so i love the loyalty for sure she is a or he or she okay uh, i don't know what pronoun she wants to use but this is a unisex fragrance that is good for both men and women and i absolutely adore this i grab it when i am going out somewhere nice i don't know why i just feel like these cost so much i don't want to like wear it all like this bottle has a very significant amount in it and i love the fragrance i just don't want to use it all <laughs> so i try to not grab these as much as i you know want but i probably will because I need to try more um, bond number nines anyway. So Greenwich Village is giving very much feminine energy to me though, more than masculine. It's more of a citrusy, fresh, floral, fruity with a aquatic like powdery base. It's definitely a unique fragrance, but I like that because sometimes you have to switch it up from what you're always so used to and this fragrance can stand on its own in a room you walk in and the sillage is is also there as well they do a really good job executing the notes of this fragrance the sillage of this fragrance and the price point is worth it though this next one is also by bond number nine and this is miss nolita honey miss nolita she's giving floral woody and musk all at the same time and i definitely grab for her a lot more than i do my greenwich village by number nine and i feel like that's because of course she fits into my fragrance profile that i really really love so she's definitely a girl's girl perfume this one here you spray it on to me i'm just giving you know lunch date with the girls somewhere drinking wine talking smack gossiping and just having like a really really good time talking about life goals and all of those things i'm giving y'all so many like random scenarios but this is definitely the vibe that i get from the bottle and the vibe that i get from the scent as well bond number nine like i said 
does a really really good job executing all different types of necessary elements that you need in the fragrance which is the longevity which is the power of the scent it's not weak whatsoever they definitely do a really really good job i recommend both of these if you want to do bond number nine and you don't know which one to get try one of these too this next one is my moschino toy two okay my moschino toy two one of my faves as well this one is a new bottle because i ran out of the first one i fell in love with this um i was actually at macy's with a friend and i fell in love i love other scents that are powdery and fresh and very citrusy this is a scent to me that i feel like i can wear every day any time of the day morning noon and night it's just an overall really really good fragrance to wear for every day i will have to say that the sillage on this does not last as long as i would like it to but the fragrance of this i can overlook that because for one, it doesn't cost that much. And this is also one of my affordable fragrances that I want to share with you guys. This is not that much at all. I believe this is like in the $70 range. This here, honey, if you want something that is not overly sweet, but still somewhat citrusy, somewhat floral, somewhat fruity, this is a very, very good go-to, especially for every day. It's not that expensive, so you can just go through these and keep getting them. And this Moschino one here is my all-time favorite. I absolutely love this. My next perfume is one of my least inexpensive perfumes. And it is by Calvin Klein. And this is Euphoria. This is Euphoria by Calvin Klein, guys. And although she runs, you know, very affordable, definitely not upper 80 range at all. I think I got her for about, these were on, a lot of perfumes that I had got recently were on sale at Sephora. But yeah, I got this one, I believe it was like $50, if I'm not mistaken, maybe $60, $50 or $60. But Euphoria, I'm gonna tell you guys, don't sleep on Calvin Klein or you know, your other fragrances that don't cost that much, okay? This baby here is mysterious. She's deep, she's sensual. I feel sexy as hell when I put this on. So Euphoria is the perfect name and we love the show, by the way, right? <laughs> but Euphoria by Calvin Klein is a fragrance that is sexy as hell. And if you put this on, you know, and at nighttime, you're just gonna feel like you're that girl. You are that girl when you wear this. I was pleasantly surprised when I sprayed this on in Sephora. I absolutely adore Euphoria by Calvin Klein. It's definitely one of my faves. I say that for every perfume, y'all. I love all my perfumes. But this one here is giving sensual. It's giving sexy. It's giving real sexy. Okay, so there you guys have it on my perfume collection. Those perfumes are such a reflection of me and what I love and what I like. And if you are also interested in the same type of fragrances that I like as well, the ones that I told you about are definitely highly recommended. I've worn all of them. If you guys really, really enjoyed this video, please like, comment, down in the comment section and also subscribe it will really help my channel out and i really really appreciate you guys for watching the whole entire video from beginning to the very end and as usual i will see you guys in the next video bye